just mention. Okay, so good morning, students. This is our Write on Two group. Today it's the 15th of May, and uh, we are continuing the lesson with Sami, Mitko, and Alexandra. Okay, so we are just starting with a recap of what we did last Tuesday, this Tuesday, and uh, that's why open your workbooks on page 78 that's your grammar bank and let's do these activities before we move on to our new tasks for the day okay so sami look at the description here this is how we use the um, the word so such what and how these are used to express your exclamation about something so you can say it was so dirty she can run so fast, but if you describe a noun, you use such. Tonkova prekrasna novina, such lovely news, or this is such an interesting book. It was such bad news. Also, you can exclaim by saying what awful weather, what nice t-shirts, or you can say what a magical place. You can also exclaim by saying how tired I am or how slow he is trying. Okay, so let's now do the activity. And this is exercise 27. Let's choose the correct item. Alex, can you start please? Choose the correct item, exercise 47 on page 78. Okay, uh, yes. okay let's start. Did you hear about the earth uh, earthquake yesterday? Yes, I did. Uh, what uh, sad news? What sad news? That's right. This is correct. Okay, Dimitar, the next one. Number two. What did you think of that trailer? Of the thriller? Yeah. What do you say, uh, Dimitar? Mitko, can you try this one? You are muted. Could you try? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. What did you think of the trailer? Oh, it was. Uh, oh, it was so scary. Then I was. Then I was almost caught. Caught to watch it. Mm -hmm. So it was so scary. That's right, Sami. The next one. How fast? Yeah, Sami, can you speak? Yeah, uh, how fast uh, cheetahs can run? And I know the, they are really fast runners. And the next one, do Sami? Um, did uh, did you like uh, working at the animal shelter? Yes, it was uh, such a good idea. Such a good idea, bravo. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Alexandra, can you continue with number one? So what do you yes. say? Yeah. Uh, what an awful, uh, mm -hmm. what an awful mess! Oh dear! Did you, did the dog try to eat the socks again? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Dimitar, number two. Okay. Uh, did you buy anything from the shop? No, everything. No, everything today was. Such an expensive. So, uh, Mitko, ti propusna poslednje čas na Lina, baš je v kos. Tako, znači, so pojasnjavo prilagatelno ime ili na reči. Ako njama so štesvitelno ime, kako v slučaj njama so štesvitelno sledi expensive, ne možem da izpolzame such. Such si izpolza, kogato kazame toliko prekrasen den. To je... Sled such, daži duri viš kak je zadaljeno v tekstu, sled such sledva neopredelitelni šlen edin, kot označava, če tja vadima so šteštitelni ime. Such a lovely day. Such something, an awful mess. Ok, Samuel, what about three? Fona is such a nice person, she is always polite and cheerful. Točno, tako je toliko prekrasen človek, Such, u, zaštotu sled such, sled da so štestvitelno ime, zdaj izpolzume such a nice person. Ok, Alex? Answer. How clean is 
this room how clean this room Cold is chista it does is die yeah my brother helped me tidy it up chudesno mitko that was okay okay that was so interesting Обаче вижда да е so, трябва да има само прилагателно име. А в случай има и документри, има и съществително име. Значи не може да бъде so. So се използва само с прилагателно име или наречие. Значи ще стане such an interesting documentary. Разбели нитко? Значи когато следва съществително име, което е естествено пояснено от прилагателно, използваме such. Such an interesting documentary, когато следва съществително. Но когато е само прилагателно или наречи, толкова интересно е, използваме лакен екзампл. So which one do you want? I don't know. There are so many to choose from. Толкова много, от които да изброим, да изберем. So пояснява единствено наречие или прилагателни имена. Окей? Така, and this is the first slide for the lesson. Okay, the next one, exercise 49. You should now use relative clauses. Това е със сега така наречените относителни изречения, които се поясняват с думите който, която, където. Just look at the description here. Defining relative clauses. We describe people with the relative pronouns. Who or that? Look at the example. The example. That's a girl who is moving to Australia. Of that is moving to Australia. About things and animals, you say giant pandas are animals which of that live in China. То е поясняваме предмети и животни с който която за за неодушевени предмети. Which за притежание possessions we use whose. И така, и те дават тези изречения Define relative clauses They always give essential information about someone or something So, we cannot omit it and we do not use a comma to separate it from the main clause The man who lives next door is a doctor Когато информацията е важна за разбиране на текста тогава не се използва за петая в английски язик Okay. И това са съответно относителните местоимения, които използваме за да дадем допълнителната информация. Okay, let's now do exercise 49 in this text. And 49 is here. Okay, Mitko, could you try with the example first? Yeah? Okay. That's men. That's men. Твоя мъж, чиято съпруга работи. Хуш, хуш. That's men. Хуш. Life is a dog. Is a doctor. Точно така. Whose wife is a doctor? Works as a doctor. Добре. Самуил. Sami, are you there? Sami, we, we cannot hear you. Maybe you are muted. Can you try again, Sami? We cannot hear you. Okay, Vladimir, uh, Alex, could you try, please? Uh, yes. yes, that's the house my uncle bought it in 2016. That's the house uh, which my uncle bought in 2016. Bravo, чудесно. Samuel, are you there now? Sami? Are you there? We cannot hear you. Participants, um, Samuel? Yes, just try to speak. Okay, he... Hmm. It doesn't work, Sami. Maybe you need to install another equipment for us to be able to listen to you. Sami, can you hear us? Samuel? 
Okay, Alex, can you continue the next one, number four? He is the boy, he is from Kenya. He is the boy, he is from Kenya. He is the boy which is from Kenya. Who, who is, who from, is from Kenya? From... Because which is for subjects and who is for people. That was first took some cross me strange. Can you try number five? Uh, the, uh, mm -hmm. This is the documentary. My... My dad really liked it. It's the documentary. Kontu, Samuel, can you try now? It's the documentary. Kontu, Kuyatu, Sami. Da. Can you complete number five? Yeah. It's the documentary that my dad really liked. Shoot this no? And uh, Mitko, the last one. Yes, Mitko. Okay. Uh, Alice is the girl. Her dad is a teacher. Alice is a girl who. Alice is. Uh, Alice girl. is the girl whose dad works. Uh, is a, whose yes. dad. He's a teacher. A teacher. Okay. Do you manage to write down the answers while we are working? Yeah, I hope so. Take notes because this is the only way to memorize this grammar. Okay. И така, сега продължаваме с сам, any, no, every, plus compounds. Отново преговаряме за Ди Самуил и за Митко, защото те пропуснаха последния час. А сам... Спомните ли си как се използваше сам? Айде вие да ми кажете. Самуил, when and how we use the word сам? В какви изречения използвахме думичката сам? По принцип. Той е зададено и отдолу. Ми... Affirmative sentences. Като кажем няколко. Да, в положително. Тя това да запомни в положително разказано изречение се използва думичката сам. Нали? Да. Както и interrogative sentences to make a request or an offer. Тоест, ако имате въпрос с Can I have some water, please? Или Would you like some water? Когато имате въпроси с думичките Може ли? Или Желаете ли? И тогава използваме думичката само. Само когато въпроса има характер на молба или на предложение. Only then we can use some. Така, докато Ени, производните на Ени се използваха в отрицателни изречения да, отрицателни. или въпросителни, но нормални въпросителни изречения, в които си задаваме нормален въпрос. Например, do we have any sugar? Имаме ли захар по принцип? Do you have any sugar? Yes, we do. И ако отговор е положителен тогава, когато си искаме от захарта, can I have some sugar, please? Тогава използваме домичката сам когато въпроса придобива характер на молба или покана, само тогава използваме сам. Okay. И накрая имаме думичката no, not any, която е малко по-особена, защото вие знаете, че в английски език нямаме двойно отрицание. Какво означава това? Ако глагол е положителен, можем да използваме думата no, но ако глагол е отрицателен, не можем да използваме още веднъж думичката nothing, no one, nowhere. Когато глагол е отрицателен, можем единствено да използваме any и производните на any. Например, хайде да дадем един пример с, с отрицателните изречения. А, как ще кажем сами, няма никой в къщи. Няма никой в къщи. There is no one home. Да, то т.е. глагол остана положителен. There is no one. Okay. No one, обърнете внимание, се пише отделно, не е слято. There is no one at home. Това е единия начин, нали? А другия е да използваме а, отрицателен глагол. И тогава ще стане there isn't. И как ще бъде сега? Коя домичка ще използваме? Any, нали? anyone. Any, anyone, който вече е слято. There isn't anyone at home. Тоест, вие ще изберете къде ще бъде отрицателната форма в изречението. Но не може две думи в текста да носят отрицателната частица не. Not, not. 
В случая, в първата част, в който се носи от думата no, no one, а във втората част, във втория пример, отлицанието се носи от глагола isn't. There isn't anyone at home. Окей? Okay? Тук това е много важен е момент да разберем, че нямаме двойно, тройно отлицание в английски язик, както в български язик. Да, има го, но в разговорния вариант. Децата могат да кажат в разговорен вариант There isn't no one at home. Разбирате ли? Децата на улицата в разговорния вариант. Но за изпити и за проверка на знанията ще запомним, че отрицанието си избираме коя дума в изречението да поеме отрицанието. Защото може да бъде и наречието да бъде отрицателно или да бъде, ето както в случая, uh, hardly ever, ето това носи отрицанието в текста. Hardly ever е почти никога. И тук не виждаме никъде частицата не. Но това наречие носи отрицанието и тук, когато е в началото на изречението, то може да бъде в началото и може да бъде и в средата, почти никога означава това, настъпва инверсия. Hardly ever uh, does she speak to her, let's say, to her father. Почти никога не говори с баща си about her problems, например. Вижте тук какво се случва. Обърнахме словореда, но това е друго правило. Когато в началото на изличението имаме отрицателна дума, в случай наречието почти никога, настъпва инверсия в словореда на разказаното изличение. Hardly ever does she speak to her father about her problems. Тоест, това са такива малки специфични неща, които ще ги учим по-нататък. И в случай обърнахме словореда. Но исках да кажа, че отрицанието се носи само от една дума в текста. Не от две, три, а само от една думичка. И вие избирате коя да бъде тя. Така, и след това имахме употребата на every за всеки един. Тя вече се използва по принцип. We use every and its compounds във всякакви възможни изречения. In affirmative, negative and interrogative sentences. For example, every student has their own tablet. Not everybody has come yet. Is everything ready to for tonight? Not everybody. Ще както използваме, когато отрицата на думичката. Not anybody. Not anyone. You can use it in this way. Not anything. Not anywhere. Добре, хайде сега да направим задачите. And this is exercise 50 and 51. Така. Let's, let's try. Take notes while we are working on these activities. Exercise 50. Okay, Samuel, could you start please? Yeah, can you try this one? Sami, can you try? Mia's not at home. She went. And what is the missing word, Sami? Can you hear me, Samuel? Okay, let's start with Alex. Alex, can you do the first one, please? Проблем с звука ли имаме? Я да видим какво се случва. Ало, госпожа, тук съм. Хайде сами, try, please. Yes, okay. uh, добре, Мия uh, not allowed at home. She went... Um... Mm -hmm. She went where? Somewhere. 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 With her friends. Okay, great. Alex? I went to Tom's house, but uh, there, was, uh, there was nobody there. Така, there was nobody there. Окей, okay. Митко, number three. Митко, can you try the question in number three? So, okay. this is a question. So, what do you say? Does anyone know where my gloves are? Браво, does anyone. Въпросително изречение, you should use anyone. Окей, okay. yes again, Alex. Can you try the next one, Alex? Yes. 
There isn't, uh, there isn't any laundry left to do. Bravo, Samui. Um, uh, Silly is very popular. Um, everyone likes her. When everyone likes you, you are very popular. Bravo. Yes, the next one. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Can I have? Can I have? Сега тук имаме какъв въпрос? Молба. Може ли малко пилишко ме са моля? Значи как ще бъде въпроса, Митко? Can I have? Въпросително изречение с характер на молба ще бъде коя формичка? Митко? Заглушил се се. You are muted. Can I have some? Can I have? Can I have some chicken, please? Can I have some chicken, please? Okay, Alex. There's no one in the room. They are all gone. Okay. There is no one in the room. So we. Just follow your turn. Um, is uh, anyone? Ne, is uh, someone uh, here? Is someone here? Ne, ne, ne. Ava vopusito mo ne možem da ispozna me samo. I mean, is everyone? Uh, everyone. Da li vsečki so tuk? Is everyone? I mean, pored mene ako beše anyone, ktoj se bude najdobra mene. Ами тук да обаче everyone може във въпросително също. Дали всички са тук? Вижте колко интересно стана въпроса. И казах на миналия част, че тези думи се съгласуват винаги с глагол в единствено число. Is everyone here? Запишете си го, за да го запомните. Is anyone? Is everyone here? Всички ли сме тук? No. Who is absent today from class? It's not... Dimitar, Alexandra, and Samuel are in the classroom, but Nasko is absent. Okay, now number nine. Can you try, Alex? Uh, mm -hmm. There isn't any milk in the fridge. Gotcha. And uh, Dimitar, number ten. Try the check. Move on. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there isn't any milk in the fridge. Uh -huh. And the next one? Try again. Uh, okay. Can you please give me some cake? Bravo. Can you please give me some cake? Това е въпрос, който е молба. Молиш, може ли малко кейк? Can I have some cake, please? Okay, bravo. И след това ще видим е това мисля, че бяха упражненията. And we have one more activity to complete. Correct the mistakes. Okay. Samuel, can you read the example first? Okay. There is anybody at the door. I can't see anyone. There is nobody at the door. I can't see anyone. Would Nick like nothing from the supermarket? Would Nick like something from the supermarket? Maybe super like and some. Tuk et vanelli vopros. Would you like anything? Tuk et kato vopros. Istinski vopros. Da. Kogato ne znaeme. Viste sega kogato ispozme something. Vi odpravete predloženje. A tuk et ne znaem. Tuk et ne znaem da li želaje. Kato et istinski vopros. Въпреки, че има Would you like, не знаем дали е иска или не иска, нямаме идея, такова използваме any. Would you like anything from the silver market? Alex? Number three. Mr. Marsh has bought any legs to make an omelette. Mr. Marsh Mr. Marsh Uh, he has bought some eggs to, uh, to make an omelette. Bravo. 
has bought some eggs to make an omelette. To this one, number four, Mitko. Mitko, can you hear us? There is rubbish. Now, Siakade is good to catch it. Mitko, could you try, please? We need to clean it up. It's obvious. The answer is everywhere. There is rubbish everywhere. Mitko, can you do the next one, please? Okay. Mm -hmm. The next one, number uh, five. There is rubbish somewhere. We need to clean it up. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I've just mentioned this one. There is rubbish uh, everywhere. I didn't care. Yeah. I mm -hmm. didn't know everyone at the party. Mm -hmm. So, what is that going to be? I didn't uh, know. Utitato mo rozkazno izlečenje. Koto predlaga kakvo? What does it suggest? Uh, I didn't know anyone. Any? Anyone, yes. I didn't know anyone. Zostato utitato mo izlečenje. Трябва да използваме думичката anyone. Okay. anyone. Така, да видим в тази работна тетрадка. Тук имаме ли още упражнения? Да, имаме. Okay. Open your workbook. Workbook. Hmm. That was your homework for today. Page 42, 43, 44. Да се върнем малко назад и да проверим отговорите ви. That was so. Let's go back to your workbook activity, unit 5. И направили, направили сте ги тези упражнения на 42-а страничка, ето тук са животните. Have you done these activities for homework? Let's label the pictures. Okay, so look at page 42 in your workbook and let's go for the answers so what's the name of this animal the first one in the picture reindeer the second reindeer. one is reindeer. polar bear the third one is wasp and the fourth one is okay you. okay a wasp Somebody can say most of it, no? wasp 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 seal seal Seal. Seal. И следващите? Polar bear. Всички? Polar bear. Интонацията и произношението? Reindeer. Reindeer, okay. And have you done the workshop? This is the puzzle with the animals. Have you done it for homework? So what's the name of the animal in picture number one? Which animal? Chameleon. What? It's number one, точно така, chameleon. Butterfly. To, uh, turtle, yes. tortoise, yes. tortoise, tortoise, it's a tortoise, okay. tortoise. Okay. Uh, dolphin, yes, five, uh, beetle, beetle, beetle. Have, do you know uh, how to spell it, beetle, yeah, yes, how do you uh, spell, B? the sixth one is, yes, salamander, salamander, yes, The and seventh this. one is a uh, frog. Frog. And the last one. And the eighth is one is tiger. Tiger. Have you done it this way? That was your homework for today. Okay. Let's continue with the other exotic animals. So read the facts and complete the facts about these animals that are of Madagascar. Okay, let's start. Okay, Sami, can you read the first paragraph, please? Okay, uh, the tomato frog gets its name from its uh, bright red skin. It can live in the weather on, and on... Водата и на земята, вероятно. And on... It's an land. amphibian on land. So, so it's it is an amphibian. Amphibian. Okay. Uh, well, Mitko, what about B? Yeah. The Madagascar day gecko. Okay. 
Uh -huh. uh, ko je? The Madagascar day gecko is called bloodied. Look at the picture. Bloodied he, he's gray and yes, scaly. Yeah. Scaly and Nagu speak for manger de bonne scaly. Put as it do from the words above. Your skin skin can be scaly and lay eggs. Interesting. The this means it's a what is it? If it lays eggs, it's a reptile. This is a, uh, a reptile. Reptile, if you choose. Because all reptiles, they're cold blooded, they have a scaly skin and they lay eggs. You can copy this definition of a reptile. Okay, uh, Alex? Number C. Yeah, Alexandra, could you try? Number C. The stick mantis. Have you seen this uh, insect before? It looks like a twig. Plichina plichica of the vol. It's a tiny animal with six, yeah, I'm just a bit legs. And this makes it an insect. Okay. Alexandra, can you try number D now? Alex, are you there? Alex? Okay, uh, now somebody else, maybe. Sami, could you try letter D? Um, okay. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the ring tail of the lemur has a long uh, black and white ring tail. It's a warm blooded animal which uh, feeds its young with mm -hmm. uh, milk. With milk. Uh, this yeah. means it's, an, it's a mammal. A mammal. It's a mammal because it feeds its youngs with, mi with milk. Super. Imam is ga definitie na seki vid životno. An amphibian, a reptile, an insect and a mammal. So amphibians can live in the water and on land. So they are called amphibians. Okay. Itaka, let's move on to the next activity now. So to take a picture. And yes, okay. Now match the animals below to the pictures. So number one was what animal is it called, Alexander? Which animal is number one in the picture? Alex, can you hear us? Maybe she is now back to the classroom. Okay, let's continue with two of you. Sami, what is number one in the picture? Sami, can you answer the uh, question? Yes. Um, yeah, say the names of the animals. Uh, what are they? 3A1, mm -hmm. uh, uh, 4B. Just uh, say the names. Okay, so the ring tailored lemur is that uh, one. one. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one is the stick uh, mantis. mantis. The, stick mantis. the third one is the tomato frog, and the fourth one is uh, the 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 day gecko the, the, the day, day gecko itaka prikrutchik me finish this one everyday english there is a conversation here 5d about shopping in a supermarket match to form complete sentences dimitar could you match the first expression how would you say? How? What do you say? Mitko? Uh, Make an exclamation. Call okay, okay. Kupu. How? Great time at uh, the World Love Sanctuary. Uh -huh. But you said how, you can say how much time is 
не става. Колко изисква обикновено прилагателно име или наречие? В случая прилагателно How имаме... Expensive. Да. How expensive is it? А, защо да не стане? Какво друго? А, добре, за това за някъде друго да ще го използваме. Виж друго прилагателно или наречие. Освен това, има... How tasty vegetables? Не, не, по-скоро how fast he talks. А, защото а, след how трябва да има наречие или прилагателно. А след tasty има и съществително име. Затова не можем да го използваме. How fast he talks. Samuel, what about two? Um, okay. Uh, what a nice vase. Mm -hmm. What a nice vase. <coughs> uh, Alexander, are you back to the classroom? What a nice vase. Да кажа ли трето? Да, продължи. Um, this bag is so... Expensive. Expensive. The organic. Добре. Добре. Митко, can you try? The organic market has such. Има толкова. Okay. Какво? Okay. The organic market has such a tasty vegetables. Such tasty vegetables. And the last? Again, you. We had such a. Great time and the wife like century. Да, значи когато имаш съществително име, ще използваме such със съществително име. Such a beautiful day. Когато имаме прилагателно и наречие, ще използваме so или how. So или how. Добре. And the next one is now. Choose the correct responses. Sami, can you try the first one? Sami, can you try the okay. first one? Yeah. Okay. Um, is there anything in particular you would like? Uh, mm -hmm. A like these soft toys. Uh, what an excellent choice. Um, be done, done. Yes, I like these soft toys. These soft toys. Yes, Miku. Number two. Miku, are you there? Can you do the next one, please? I was fine. А, Алекс, върна ли се? Да, да. Значи, а, сега, нали, а, бяхме в часовите, но сигурно сега Добре. Е госпожата и за това. И... Разб... Да, усетих, че има нещо, защото ти казах, че да. едновременно с този урок имаш и друг час. Аз да, усетих, да. че си учишла в другата класна стая. А може ли така да се прехвърляш от едната в другата? Can you move from one classroom to another? Ами, okay? на мен приложението ми е на телефона, така че на лаптопа няма проблем. Нямаш проблем, чудесно. Алекс, we are just completing in your workbook page 43. Every, everyday English, page 43. And now we are choosing how can I help you? So what do you say? Uh, how can I help you? Uh, I'd like one of these t-shirts, please. Mm -hmm. That's the right answer. And Dimitar, have you got it in red? What do you respond? Явно, че ще кажем какво? Митко. Или той сега е в класната стая. Is Митко now in the classroom? Ами, той сега, сега го дигнах на него за това. А, добре, добре. Can you answer this question now? Have you got it in red? Аз ли? Да, да. What do you say? Uh, here you are. Here you are. Т.е. вашата класна стая е What subject are you having? Do you have at the moment? Uh, we have the uh, physical education. Right now, really? Yeah. Yes. It's a physical education class. So what are you, uh, what are you, what is your teacher asking you to do? Uh, we have to do exercises and... Uh, really? Well, 
yeah. and uh, turn on our cameras to do it. Uh -huh. I see this is really interesting. So they make you do physical exercises at home, yeah? Yes. Very interesting. Yes, great. И така, сега остана последната задачка да довършите complete the conversation by using these words. Okay. Okay, uh, Sami, can you start please? The assistant what? Uh, okay, um uh, uh, what would they say? Would you no, yes, they are nice. me um would you like one of our beautiful mugs? Yes, would you like that? Produce Sami. Uh well they are nice. Um how much are they? Yes, bravo. Yes. Uh they are only two pounds each and okay. with every purchase you make uh you help uh, the charity of street dogs and cats. Um that's a great idea. I'll take one. Mm -hmm. Uh what an excellent choice. Uh -huh. I'll take the white one, thank you. Uh -huh. Some uh, I'll take one, please. Uh, which one would you like? Uh, maybe. Uh, which one which would one? you like? Which one? I'll, I'll take... take the white one, thank you. Mm -hmm. What an excellent choice. Yes. Is there anything uh, you would like? A t-shirt maybe? Mm -hmm. No, just the mug, thank you. Um, here you are. Here you are. Thank you for your donation. So when you shop for something, this is the vocabulary we need to use in a shop. Okay, we've done this activity. Page 44. Let's complete the other activities. 5E. And this is a revision again of relative clauses and some, any, no, everyone. Okay. Itaka, Alex, can you try the first one, please? Yes, the Japanese crane is type of bird uh, which is endangered. Mm -hmm. the Japanese crane. А сега коя птица беше тази край? I can't remember this name. It's a type of bird, but it's a Japanese one. So it's a type of bird which is endangered. Okay, Sami? Okay. Uh, um, there are the people who who organized the clean up day? Uh, do you know the boy uh, that uh, whose uncle works at the local zoo? The mm -hmm. man uh, who started this environment organization won a, an award. Alex, continue. Uh, what's the name of the man who organized the clean up day? Mm -hmm. Dave. David. David. Dave Drinko. He owns the shop uh, which is next to Baker's. Chudesno, Gabu. Sunny. Smile, can you try number two? Uh, okay. Um, do, you, uh, do you know anything about the polar bear? Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, it's an animal. Um, mm -hmm. Who's natural habitat? Which? Inside. Yeah. Okay. Who, ah. who's it's other to Kachito Chiatu, whose natural habitat is inside the Arctic Circle. What, well, Alex? Uh, the man who spoke about the climate change is my uncle. Mm -hmm. Really, that's the lecture uh, which I found the most interesting. Yes, no, bravo. And that's it. Okay, some of you join the sentences using the pronoun in brackets. Yeah. Okay. Lisa is a student. Um, she started the um, environment club. Uh, Lisa is the student who started the environment club. Mm -hmm. uh, the Casa Mofturto. Mm -hmm. 
Да, добре ви следващото. Добре, that's the book. It has information about on endangered animals. That's the book which has the information. Yeah, Alexandra, the next one. I have a classmate whose brother works in a nature reserve. And the next one, Alex. These are the people who helped who helped me pick up the litter. Чудесно, браво, супер. Виждам, че сте ги освоили нещата. И накрая имаме сам Ени. And every and compounds. Alex, the first one. Is there anyone here to help? Is there? Да, кой. Добре, хайде сами. The next one. We picked up every piece of litter on the beach. Добре. Да кажа ли трябва там? Да, хайде, следващото. Anyone that came to the meeting was disappointed. Тук иска да кажат, никой не е бил зачарован. Nobody that came to the meeting was disappointed. Вижте колко интересно е казано, нали? От ицателна форма. No one that came to the meeting was disappointed което означава Everybody was pleased. Okay. And then, Alex? You couldn't find the recycling center anywhere. There is no public transport in this town, so people use their cars. There is no public transport, therefore people are using their cars. Fill in the gaps with the compounds formed from the words in brackets. Mitko, are you back to the classroom? Mitko? Yes. Okay, would you like to join the class now? Okay, so okay. you should make a compound by using the words in bracket. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, look. Uh, Someone left an empty can of cola on the beach. Чудесно. Someone, somebody is correct. Продължи още малко. Митко. Okay. That's awful. We need to do something about the litter problem here. Чудесно. Самуил, number two. Okay. Okay. Um, do we need to bring uh, any thing to the cleanup day? Mm -hmm. Yes, Sammy. No, the organizers will give us. Uh, no, the organizers will give us everything that we need. Mm -hmm. And Alex? That we will need. Mm -hmm. Is and there Alex? a recycling center anywhere around here? Mm -hmm. No, unfortunately, there is uh, nowhere, no, 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 uh, but no one like that. I would say Not nothing, like that. nothing. There is nothing like that. Dobre, bravo. And finally, exercise six, read the advertisement and find six mistakes. Samuel, could you start reading this? You should identify the mistakes in the text. Okay. Um. Are you looking for nothing exciting to do this summer? That na pravo korigir. Are you looking for what? Something. For anything, anything. Anything, anything exciting to do this summer. Na chipper ba ta dumička? E to šo to. I do not see the text. It's not nothing. This is anything. Um, then why uh, not volunteer at the at uh, Northumberland National mm -hmm. Park? Took mm -hmm. uh, name is a Somewhere you go in this. Uh, 
somewhere you go in this um, park, you can see beautiful uh, wildfire. And the best way to experience it is as a volunteer. Um, anywhere yes. you go, must be. Data. As a student, as a cadet, you don't need it. You can see beautiful wildlife. Don't you think? Um, no, any of the jobs that volunteer. Uh, uh, some, uh, some of the, uh, anywhere. Anywhere, so you can use the expression to say the meaning of the word, it means So, anywhere you go in this part, you can see beautiful wildlife. And maybe, because we have not learned anywhere, so this word is now, maybe you can say everywhere you go. So, write it down, everywhere, okay? Everywhere you go. No, anywhere. In a travel to says anywhere, can that we do feel it in any somewhere anywhere you go in this part. Everywhere you go. No, the most of the everywhere. This is anywhere the other body. Anywhere you go. just a moment to see what they are looking at here. Done. Somewhere is, of course, the wrong one. We need to have the go corrigiram as a ga. It says anywhere, I would say anywhere. Dobre. Taka, koste podoji, Dimitar. Okay. So what will you say? Госпожо Вецак, не сте се виждали на всичко гра. Нищо няма значение, но вие трябва да ги коригирате с правилната думичка. That's okay, we found the mistakes. But somewhere, the same anywhere you go. Say to us, any of the jobs that volunteers will do include. Как ще бъде коя домичка ще използваме тук вместо any? Ще кажем сега. Some of the jobs. Точно така. Добре. And then picking up litter, fixing fences, and bringing visitors on guided walks. Alex. And... Just a second, my battery ran out. Uh huh. So you said that some of the jobs include. Some of the jobs include picking up litter, fixing fences, and bringing visitors on guided walks. And everyone who volunteers will get a free a free two man pen. So if if you or uh, or nobody you know no, no, no. or Nyakui, Nyakui. if you or someone you ne, know is to tell the anyone anyone you know is interested download the application from www.com not not umpath dot com if you uh, have uh, any questions, call us at this number. Yeah, to connect to the best name is a store, uh, and as Kazan Pulsito Mesicheni is Pazome any. The Pumet is led Dumata Ako, sled Ako, Kato Bata Primerio Metuka, Vinig is his Pazwa any. E Akuimama, the Prosi, Zvaneta. And if you have any questions, call us. Okay? And we give Akuimama. да се използвали на втори номер Everywhere, защото не съм ви, още не сме обяснили за употребата на Anywhere. Където и да отидете, Anywhere you go in the park, you can see beautiful wildlife. И така, just do the corrections yourself. Една секундичка, ще ми правя една малка пауза. Една минутка, може ли? I have a small problem with my back today. I just can't move. <laughs> okay, I'll just stop the room. Okay. So we are continuing now with our skills, um, speaking and uh, reading skills development in your textbook on page 84. Okay. And uh, listen to the sounds. This is exercise number one. Where are you? What can you see? How are you feeling? Just listen to the sounds, okay? 
darkness. That was really surprising. the sounds how what first of all where were we what did you hear and how were you feeling let's start with the first sound that you heard alex what was the very first sound what did you hear it was rain do you think it was rain what yeah. about what about the others do you think uh, that it was the sound of a rain falling or was it something else? It was a water falling, but what was the sound from? Um, it was I really think, heavy sound. Yeah? So uh, what? I think the sounds were from the tropical forest. Uh, what about the others, boys? Do you agree with Alex? Where was the sound coming from in the very, very first time? That was the sound. Listen to it again. Listen. So what kind of sound is it? Yeah. Oh, waterfall. Yeah, waterfall. That's right. This is the sound of an enormous waterfall falling down. That's right. Okay. The second one, Sami, what was the second? piece of sound that we heard. Where was it coming from? Sami? Yeah? What did you hear after that? Do you remember the sounds? No, I don't remember. Okay, just listen to this again. The, the second part was somewhere near, somewhere here. Now listen to the second piece of sounds. So what can forest. you hear? Yeah. Birds in the forest. Yeah, these are birds singing in the forest. Okay. The next one, Mitko. What was the third piece of sound you heard? That was somewhere here. What is this, Mitko? Yeah. What was that? A bear roaring. So we can say. That was the sound of a bear roaring. Maybe it's uh, defining its uh, territory. A bear roaring. It's a bear roaring. And this one, Sami, what kind of sound is that? A uh, river, maybe. Yeah, the sound of, of the water running down the stream or river. Okay, so this is maybe that was number three we can say water running down down a river or a stream okay. and these are the sounds of what uh, uh, maybe a flock 
of birds, yeah, which are gathered together, a flock of birds, uh, hundreds of birds, maybe these are like hundreds, hundreds of birds being stuck together. Do you know where uh, we can see the biggest, uh, how to say, the location of birds in the world? Flock of birds, hundreds of birds gathered together. Do you know which place in the world is this with the biggest number of birds together? Yato. А не, а става дума, знаете ли кое място в света е като събирателна точка за най-много птици събрани на едно място? Толкова много има там, че а, небето е осято с точки от изобилието от птици, които се виждат в небето. Това е Аляска. It's in Alaska. You can see the biggest number of birds and fish in the water. Alaska, it's one of the locations where you can see hundreds of birds together, got together. Okay, so uh, now tell me about your emotions. How were you feeling while you're listening to these sounds? Alex, what were your emotions? Did you feel as if you were in the mountains? What were your emotions? Yeah? Yeah. Did you feel relaxed? How did you feel? Excited? Mm. Yeah. Did you imagine being there at the same time? Yes. Yes, we did. We all did. It's amazing, isn't it? How we can travel within time. Yeah. I am interested to find about the boys. Boys, did you imagine being in these places while you are listening to the sounds? Yeah. Did you imagine uh, just transferring your mind, your imagination? No. no, you didn't. Okay, Sami, how did you feel then when you were listening to the sounds? Hmm? How did you feel? I, I didn't feel? I didn't feel anything. Really? Oh, I see. <laughs> really? <laughs> We're so different. So you didn't feel anything. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> okay, and Mitko, what about you? Did you feel in a certain way while you're listening to these sounds? Mitko, what about you? Did you transfer to these places or you were thinking you were at home, just having an English class? What were your emotions? Mitko, can you hear me? Okay, maybe you are in class right now. Okay, let's move on to the next activity, exercise two. And first of all, I want to check the grammar, uh, the vocabulary for this unit. Uh, yeah, let's look at the word. So we have the word extract. Oh, I'm sorry. Extract. Is it too high? Extract. Extract. It is a small part from a book or a piece of writing. Extract, toys, abzats of книга, maybe. Journal. Journal, say together. Journal. Journal. Okay. This is like a diary where you take notes of your everyday events. Volunteer. Volunteers are people who give their time and labor to other people without being paid. Head. Head, Head into. It's like uh, traveling. Go to a particular direction. You can head it into the classroom, for example, if you're in a hurry. Okay. So let me just take a picture of this one. Head into. Set up. Yeah. Set up a tent. You set up a tent. You prepare something to be used. You set up a tent. Тоест, построихме, вдигнахме палатката. Valley. Valley. Долина. Valley. Okay. Then you're bank. talking about the banks of the river. The side of the river is called a bank. The side of the river is called a bank. Okay, then we're talking about tidy. 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 To make a place neat. Do the washing up. 
do the washing. Come, you know this. Pick up. Pick up to collect. Utilum de zamanyako go to chiliste. My mother came to pick me up from school. Collect somebody. Repair. Repair. Popravim. You fix something that is not working. Path. Path. Patechka. You walk down the path. A narrow track for walking. Deer. Deer, you know, an engine. That's what we have here. Destination. Destination a destinacja. Pusok to na vašto potuvane. Eventually. Eventually. Naj na kraje. Eventually. Na kraje. Spot. Spot. Kato miastu, lokacije, place or position. Obače, kato glagol je zabeljazvam. Spot. To notice. I notice some deer in the forest. Zabeljazah eleni. Allow. Allow, razrešavam, pozvoljavam. Expert. Expert. Tako vrnete vnimanje, če se domičkate expert, vinki sledo predlogat in. To je, ako vi ste expert po čuždi jezici, ste kažete, I am an expert in foreign languages. Že bi hovo, da si zapišete predlogat, kažete go zapiše, an expert in, write it down, an expert in something. Predlogat je in, expert po neštu. You set the table, e kato? Set the table. To prepare a table for a meal, podreždame masata, za sjedane, za hrana, to set the table. Take out the rubbish. Take out the rubbish, remove the rubbish from your house and throw it in a bin outside. And finally, do the laundry. You do the laundry, to jest? I do the laundry, I wash dirty clothes. I do the laundry. Okay. We are ready now to move to the second activity. Let's take one more picture of this save button. Okay. And now we are moving to Exercise number two. Read the title of the text and the introduction. What jobs can you do as a volunteer in Yosemite National Park? This is a national park in the United States of America and it has wonderful stone features. So it's a destination to go and not miss. Okay, so let's read the, the, the title and the introduction and answer the question what jobs can you do in the yosemite national park okay um sami can you read the title and the introduction what does it say volunteering in yosemite national park and what is the first sentence um Wendy Roberts. Yeah, has just, Wendy Roberts has just uh, returned from a volunteering holiday in uh, Yosemite National Yosemite. Park in California. Mm -hmm. Yosemite. 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 Yosemite National Park in California, USA. Here are some extracts from her journal. Mm. So what jobs can you do as a volunteer? She didn't say anything about the jobs um, yeah okay so let's read let's read the text i don't know we can't see maybe uh we have to read the whole text first and then we'll answer the questions about the text and we also have a video to watch so i recommend us to watch the video first and then we we'll read the text okay let's watch it Yosemite Volunteering in Yosemite National Park. Are you ready for the listening and the video? Let's do it. Okay. Volunteering in Yosemite National Park. I have just returned from a volunteering holiday in Yosemite National Park in California, USA. Let me tell you about my time there. On Monday morning, I arrived in Groveland, a small town just outside the park. There, 
I joined up with the other volunteers in the group. They're from all over the world. Everyone was really friendly. We stayed in a hotel that night and went to the park the next morning. On Tuesday morning, we entered the park and set up our tents. The campsite was in a deep valley on the banks of the Merced River. We all had to tidy our tents and it was my job to do the washing up in the river. In the afternoon, we walked to Yosemite Falls where we picked up litter and repaired paths. On Wednesday, we went up the river in kayaks. Black bears and deer were watching us from behind the trees. Eventually, we arrived at our destination and our group leader gave us digital cameras. Every year, photos from the exact same spots are taken around the park. It's called repeat photography and it allows experts to compare photos from year to year and spot any environmental problems. It was fun work and it felt good to make a difference. I think I'll go back next year to volunteer some more. So, so that was the text. And do you understand what activities can you do if you go to Yosemite National Park? So what did she do as a volunteer? What did she do? Uh, Sami, what did she, she do? She swam with kayak and uh -huh. took photos uh -huh. of, of National, of Yosemite Falls. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else did she do? And they pick up, they picked up litter, yes? Yes, and, and uh, repaired uh, paths. And repaired, what did they repair? Paths. Pathways, that's right, paths, that's right, great, good. And now uh, there are uh, questions to answer after the video match the sentences one to six with the days by ticking the correct box. I recommend watching it again and then we'll decide on what day she did these activities. I want you to watch it and uh, find the answers to these questions. Listen again. Okay, let's watch it again. On what days they Volunteering did in Yosemite National Park. I have just returned from a volunteering holiday in Yosemite National Park in California, USA. Let me tell you about my time there. On Monday morning, I arrived in Groveland, a small town just outside the park. There, I joined up with the other volunteers in the group. They're from all over the world. Everyone was really friendly. We stayed in a hotel that night and went to the park the next morning. On Tuesday morning, we entered the park and set up our tents. The campsite was in a deep valley on the banks of the Merced River. We all had to tidy our tents and it was my job to do the washing up in the river. In the afternoon, we walked to Yosemite Falls where we picked up litter and repaired paths. On Wednesday, we went up the river in kayaks. Black bears and deer were watching us from behind the trees. Eventually, we arrived at our destination and our group leader gave us digital cameras. Every year, photos from the exact same spots are taken around the park. It's called repeat photography and it allows experts to compare photos from year to year and spot any environmental problems it was fun work and it felt good to make a difference. I think I'll go back next year to volunteer some more. Okay. Okay, so let's now answer the questions. So, on which day did Wendy join other volunteers? Look at the text also in your book, page 84. Monday. Is it on Monday? 
She yes. joined, that's right. She joined the other volunteers. They arrived Wednesday. on Monday. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sami, what about the second one? Uh, they went to Yosemite Falls in the afternoon on which um, day? Maybe Wednesday. Yes. Tuesday. No, no, no. Tuesday. It was on Tuesday. In the afternoon, Tuesday. we walked to Yosemite Falls. Okay. Mitko. The third one is Monday. Mitko, what about the next one? They stayed in a hotel for one night. Yeah. For the night. That was the first day when they arrived. Mitko, what about four? They went up the river in kayaks on what day? Yeah. Mitko, on which day did they go up the river in kayaks? Can you hear me? Mitko, are you there? Or are you back to the classroom? Alex, are you there? Alex? Maybe they are back to their classrooms. Sami, continue speaking. Alex and Dimitri, if you're there, just let me know. Okay? Sami, what about the next one? Four. They went up the river in kayaks. That was um, on Wednesday. On Wednesday, yes, and then? Uh, they repaired the pass on Tuesday. On Tuesday, yes. And their group leader gave them cameras on Wednesday. Day on Wednesday, bravo, that's right. And go pause for five minutes. Да, знаете, точно да приключим тази страничка. So, um, exercise three in your book, first of all. Let's answer the questions now. Read the text and for questions one to three, choose the answers A, B or C. Could you answer the questions? The people in Wednesday volunteer group are, um, met each other for the first time. Yes, okay, next. Uh, the campsite um, where when the state um, sat was deep in the park was deep in the park ah was at the edge of the river where did they see that or campsite maybe because uh, cause she ah, said because uh, um, she said uh, uh -huh. my job was to wash the uh -huh. Our campsite in in a deep valley on the bank of the Murst River. Sepaki na brigut merikata on the edge. Yes. yes. Uh, then, when they use a digital camera to photograph um, the park. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She used a digital camera to photograph uh, the park. Chudesno, super. And the last question here is. What makes Wendy an echo teen? Tell the class. So why do you think she is an echo teen? Yeah? She helped mm -hmm. the environment. Yes. She collects the litter. What else she does? This is the she text. She fixed mm -hmm. the pass. pass. Yes. And... Um, that's it. I just, I'm taking pictures of the paragraphs. So we have them for the lesson pictures. Yeah, that's right. Bravo. And um, so we have a few more minutes to talk about this. Uh, um, Sami, could you refer to vocabulary on the next page? Because you won't be able to join us on Tuesday. And the others are not in the classroom. Let's go through the vocabulary with you. I'll cover this again with them. So listen and repeat. Which of these chores did Wendy do during her holiday? Okay. Uh, yeah, can uh, you tell us? She mm -hmm. during did her holiday. Did the wash up? Did the washing up? Yes. Do the washing up. Yeah. What else she did? Uh Tidy, no, um, take out the rubbish, maybe. Uh, she picked up the, the rubbish. Maybe in the mountains, there isn't a rubbish bin. She picked up the rubbish and that's it, maybe. That's, uh, maybe she yeah. uh, set the table. Set the table. Uh, for the people. I don't think so, because... Yes. I mean, uh, for everybody who was there eating together. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And what about and you? Yes, what about you? 
how often do you uh, how often do you do the household chores sometimes usually really never how often do you do these things mm, i don't know when i feel like it mm -hmm. when do you like I, doing the i, I get mm -hmm. I, I get um yeah. do you help your mind do you help your mom with the cleaning at home mm, sometimes sometimes okay and i'll complete the lesson with the listening for you okay so you hear some information about a volunteering holiday in a national park for each question fill in the missing information in the gaps are you ready let's look at the information first age you have to write the age of the volunteers accommodation where they're gonna stay duties what their duties would be and then what they need to be volunteers okay let's do it <music> Good afternoon. My name's Jack Moon and I work as a ranger for the Lake District National Park. The Lake District National Park is England's most popular national park with around 15 million visitors each year. We're always doing our best to protect the park and keep it beautiful, but we need your help. So this summer, we're organizing special volunteering holidays for teenagers. This opportunity is for teenagers between the ages of 14 and 18. You'll join a group of around 15 other volunteers and you'll stay for five nights in individual tents in a campsite in the park. We'll also give you three meals every day. So, what does the work involve? Well, volunteers will spend their time doing various jobs around the park. Firstly, you'll repair fences and signs so that visitors keep to the trails. Also, you'll pick up litter and do surveys of the wildlife around the park. We'll provide most of the things you'll need during your stay, such as tools and camping equipment, but you should bring good walking boots and a raincoat. Visitors should also be ready to do physical work outdoors in all weathers. To apply for a position, email info at volunteers.org or call us at 0123 231 4162. Please apply before the 21st of May. The first group will get together on the 1st of June and will run the scheme until the 31st of August. Okay. Uh, Sami, could you give me the answers? So, uh, what is the, the age? The sixth one. Uh, yes. Okay. Number one, how old you must be to volunteer? Uh, 16. Didn't they say 14? 14. It was 14, 14 to 18. And uh, volunteers get a separate what? Separate palatka, a separate a tent. tent, yes. And what are the duties involved? Pick up litter and yes, pick up litter as a ogradite uh, You'll repair remember. fences and signs so that visitors keep to the trails. You repair. Repair. Uh, repair repair fences and signs. And what do you need uh. to bring with you? A uh, raincoat. A raincoat and apply before what date? 21st May. Of May. Чудесно. Така, сега за домашна работа сами ще ти възложа да направиш имейл. Който имейл, аз ще ти изпрати сега на Соки как да го направиш като, като информация. Ще имате във Viber. И твоята задачка ще бъде Imagine you went on a volunteering holiday to the park below and write an email to your English friend about your experiences there. Write about the park's name and location, your duties, your feelings about it. Okay? This is going to be your okay. homework for the next class. Ние във вторник ще завършиме Unit 5. Да, и ще направим progress check. Виж, обърни до края. До края. До съмдесе и девете страничка ще завършиме Unit 5 в петък, във вторник, да знаеш. Сами, ще искам ти да си направиш това упражнение и ще ти пусна в групата теста, който е за завършване на Unit 5. Окей? Okay? So, okay. thank you for being part of this class today. 
and I'll see you next Friday, Sami. And with the other students, I don't know whether they're still here. Are you still there? Алекс? Uh, I'm here. Ага, добре. Аз мисля това в края, което направихме, да го повторя още веднъж в вторник, за начало на часа, с лисанинга, за да може и Марти, и Наско, които пропуснаха сега, да чуят лисанинга и да довърши на Unit 5 в петък, т.е. в вторник, за да може от другата седмица да стартираме последния модул към учебника Write on 2. Благодаря ви за днес. Have a nice day. So, your homework would be to do a revision, have a revision of the whole unit five, okay? Because you're gonna have a test on Tuesday. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Същност, може и ти да направиш тази задача. Ще ви пусна сега email, how to write a letter, how to write an email. Ще ви пусна специална информация. And then I want you to have this information and write about your duties, your feelings, working as a volunteer, in the national park okay thank you very much and have a lovely day bye bye goodbye bye bye